Vegas Movie Studio Platinum features a powerful integrated motion tracking tool that enables you to track the movement of an object through the video frame. You can use this to apply spot color grading, pixelization, or other effects that follow along with the moving object. You can also use this to pin text and other video to the tracked object to move along with it. In another tutorial, you learn how to use the Bezier masking tool. If you haven't watched that tutorial, it's important that you do so now because the motion tracking tools are included as a subset of the Bezier masking tool. So, assuming you've watched that tutorial, position your project cursor at the beginning of the timeline clip event that holds the video you want to track, or anywhere within the event that you want to start tracking. Now, create a mask over the top of the object in the video that you want to track. Regardless of the shape of the mask, motion tracking uses the shape's bounding rectangle so it's not necessary to spend time creating a detailed Bezier mask over the object. Usually a simple rectangle or oval mask will be perfect for what you're trying to do. In the Bezier masking parameters for the mask you're using for tracking purposes, click the Tracking Expand button. Click the Options Expand arrow. If the object you are tracking is mostly just changing position across the screen, the default mode setting of location will probably be sufficient. But if the object is also rotating or changing orientation and growing larger or smaller, choose the appropriate mode from the list to detect each of the movement, rotation, and size changes. Click the Start button. A video progress bar indicates where you are in the process, and you can see that animation keyframes are added in the animation area of the Video Event Effects dialog box. The motion of the object is tracked to the end of the event as long as the algorithm is able to identify the object being tracked. Sometimes, however, the tool loses the object and can no longer track it. For instance, if you're tracking the head of a person walking across the screen and that person momentarily walks behind a sign that obscures his head, the motion tracker will lose the target object and stop tracking. However, if the person keeps walking and then comes out on the other side of the sign, you might still want to track his motion. In this case, Click the Sync Cursor button at the bottom of the keyframe controller area to turn it on, and scrub the keyframe controller cursor to the spot in the video where the object being tracked is visible again. Now use the Video Preview Interaction controls to manually move the mask so that it once again includes the target object. In the Video Event Effects window, click the Start button again, and the tracking process picks up where it left off. Place your timeline cursor at the beginning of the tracked event and play your project. Watch your video preview window to confirm that you are satisfied with the object tracking. If it's not quite right, you have a couple of options. First, you can select and delete all of the tracking keyframes from the Video Event Effects window and try again with different parameter settings. Remember, you can use standard Windows selection techniques like holding the Control or Shift key to select multiple objects at once. And second, you can select individual keyframes and make the needed adjustments to the mask's position. When you're happy with the results, close the Video Event Effects window and view your work. When you combine the motion tracking feature with what you learned in the Bezier masking tool, you'll quickly learn to apply color grading or other effects that then follow along with the moving object. To add a text label to your project that follows the tracked object, click the event that holds the tracked object to select it. Choose Tools, Extensions, Add Text to Motion Track, then follow the script's procedures. When you're done, you'll have a placeholder text event on your new track above your video. Click the Text Events Generated Media button to access the text controls and enter in the text and attributes you want. When you're finished, play the project and the text follows along with the tracked object. To add another video to follow the tracked object, first add another video file to a new track above the event you've been working on. Click the Video Effects tab to open that window. Drag the picture-in-picture -picture thumbnail onto the new event. You can make whatever adjustments you want to, but for now we'll work with the default picture-in-picture -picture settings. Now select the original motion tracked event and your new event. Choose Tools, Extensions, Copy Motion Track to PNP. Click OK in the dialog box that tells you the operation is completed. Play your project and notice that the new video follows the tracking of the original.